What's up everyone? So I'm making a quick tutorial to show you guys how I personally use DrumNow's newly released Production Spices Volume 1 pack. This pack contains impacts, risers, and 808s. What these samples are made for are essentially to bring a part to life that might be lacking life or might be lacking detail, depth, or overall production really. Uh, we're also going to be using the DrumNow's Snare Effects Volume 1 pack as well. Uh, this pack contains like big snares and things like that to really bring these nice sounds out inside of a heavy part or just a part that might be lacking depth again. So let's check it out. I just got done writing a uh, a small little breakdown using Drum Now's Nothing But Breakdown Patterns Volume 1. So let's dive into it. All right, so let's check out what I wrote here. I'm going to play it without the effects first so you can kind of get an idea of what this sounds like. So yeah, super heavy. Um, it's just lacking again a little bit of life, a little bit of a little bit of detail to keep the mind kind of busy during that part. So it's not so empty, in my opinion. So we're gonna open up the Production Spices Volume One pack. Now the first thing I want to do, I want to bring in two of these. We're gonna use the white noise riser, and we're gonna use sudden cut. So we're gonna drag these into my DAW. And notice that I'm not sending these to any mix bus or anything. These are pre-mixed and ready to go. So I'm just going to be dragging this to where these cut right here on this measure, where my fade in on the guitar uh, stops right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be adding these risers to kind of uh, just kind of like, like really cut that so that lo-fi part is just all eyes on that lo-fi part. So I'm going to make two cuts right here as well. and. Boom, because I don't want those to be excessively long. Gonna kill the faders a little bit. Don't want them to be too loud, just enough. So let's check it out. Could probably even go a little bit louder than that, to be honest, especially the sudden cut. Let's do a little bit louder on that. All right, let's check that out. Cool, that's exactly what I want right there. And then next, I want a big, massive swish, like 808 on when the song actually drops. So we're gonna go to Big Swish. And what I'm gonna do is, you can see on the WAV file where this part gets a little bigger right here, I'm gonna connect that to where this measure actually is. So the fade in is perfect, and the explosion is perfect. So there we go. I'm fading that manually because I don't want it to I want it to be a little bit more abrupt than, than what it truly is. All right, let's check that out. Yes, sir. So that's exactly what we're looking for right there. Uh, just want that to really do its job, just like psh, explosive. Next, I want to add another one on the halfway point, which would be right here. Need a little something, something right there, too. So I'm going to go to. Let's do Thunder Clash 808. Let's bring that one in. All right. This one's not going to be so high end friendly. It's a little bit more bass boomy. I'll play it for you. Yeah, so we just want a little bit right there. I don't want it to be uh, as big as the initial big swish right there. So let's check out what we got. Awesome. I highly recommend listening to this with headphones, by the way, if you're viewing this on a phone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open DrumNow's Snare Effects Volume 1 pack. Let's check that one out. So this one, I want to bring in 10, 9, 8, and 7. I want to bring all these into my DAW. Cool. And then I'm just going to basically scatter these uh, on the snare hits. And... Again, kill the faders, not linking these to any sort of mix bus. Um, these I don't want excessively loud. I just want the snares to be uh, 
you know, a little bit more noticeable. You'll see what I'm saying. So what we did there, we just added this, those big bangs, 10, 9, 8, and 7, uh, right where the snares are actually hitting, and it just makes it a lot bigger, a lot more interesting. So uh, let's give it a, a listen from the top. Let's check it out. So there you guys have it. Like I said, these samples truly help enhance a part in a song that might be lacking life, depth, or detail, and we did just that. So thank you guys for watching this video, and be sure to check out drumnow.app, where the beta is live and in full effect. Happy songwriting.